Hi, this is Mark from onlinebusinessconsultant.co.uk and today we're going to have a look at how to insert an image into your website using Cushy CMS. So log into Cushy CMS and click on the page that you want to edit. Wait a moment for the editor to load and as always click on the view live page button so we can look at the page on our website and decide what changes we want to make. So here's our live page and I'd like to insert an image just round about here. So if we go back to Cushy CMS now, scroll down to find that section and then let's make a space for the image. So I've added a couple of lines there. There's a button on the toolbar here called insert edit image so let's click on that and then this image properties box pops up. Now you can add an image that already exists on the internet by putting in the URL or the web address but the image that I want to add doesn't yet exist on the internet. It's on my computer. So I'm going to click on the upload tab here. I'm going to browse to find the image on my computer. Here I've got a JPEG which is ready for the internet it's got a nice name which is descriptive, no spaces, so I'm going to click on open. As soon as you've done that, click send it to the server and it's going to upload the file to Cushy CMS. Now, if it's a large file size, it's going to take a long time to upload. It would also take a long time to display on a web page when somebody views it. So it's important to make sure you've got a good image size. Let's close this box then. And we can see now it goes straight to the image info tab. And it's given us the URL, the temporary URL, where the image is sitting now. Alternative text is something that you should always use. Um, generally, you won't see it but for people who have visual impairments and they use software to read out to them what's seen on screen they won't be able to understand an image, they won't be able to see it so if you put something very useful here then when their screen reader software gets to it they'll be able to understand exactly what it is you're trying to show them Okay. We can also see on the right hand side here we've got a little preview and we've got some options on the left. So the first one is the ability to change the size of it. So if I was to reduce this down to 100 we can see the height has also changed and that's because I've got this button here that says lock ratio and that means if I change the height the width will always change and if I change the width the height will change and it's not going to stretch it and look strange. Let's just turn that off so you can see what that would look like. There you go, it's stretched. Luckily we've got a reset button, so if we press the reset button it goes back to the original size. So let's lock this and reduce the size again. And The reason I'm reducing the size is because I'd like to show you some of the other options that you've got here. You can add a border to your image. So you can see there's now a, a grey border here. You can add some horizontal space. You can see now there's a gap there. And you can add some vertical space. Now we've got a gap at the top. The other option you've got is the image alignment. Quite often you won't need to touch this, but let's just take a quick look at what you might want to do. First of all, we've got left. If you select left, the text will wrap around the right hand side of the image. If you select right, the text will wrap around the left hand side of the image. And really they're the main two options that you would want to use. I'm going to select none. I don't want to define it. I'm also going to take off all of the spacing.
and I'm going to reset it to the original size. So that's it. Click on OK and we'll see the image then pops into the editor here. If that's the only change you want to make, scroll down the page to the bottom, click on publish page and then we just wait for that to be uploaded to the website. Once that's done, let's take a look at the live page. So F5 on your keyboard or refresh on your browser. The page reloads and the changes that we've made, including the image, are there on the page on our live website. Once you're finished, back to Cushy CMS and log out. There we go.